Well, we got totally soaked earlier today, hauling logs on a different property, and now we're on to our second job of the day. And this one is a poplar tree growing right on a property line, and the canopy is low enough that it's hanging on the roof of both of the properties, or both of the houses, at this property line. I know a few pest guys, and they will all tell you that branches hanging on the roof of a house is a big no-no. When I see a tree growing close to a house, I don't want it to be growing onto the house. It looks untidy, it has potential for causing damage, and that tree is going to continue to grow. So if it's already touching your house now, well, five years from now, it's going to be laying on your house. Ten years from now, it's going to be actively damaging your house. There are two things. One is you see me doing a lot of top cutting today. When you top cut, the weight of the branch gets held by lo the lower portion of the branch, the underside. So the top will no longer have holding fibers. And so the weight basically folds the branch over and then it breaks and sometimes it peels, right? And on at least some of these cuts, I've been top cutting them on purpose because that lowering and then cracking a lot of times takes the momentum out of the, the branch so that it just drops straight down, which is sometimes preferable, sometimes not, it depends. But there've been a bunch of situations today where I wanted it to drop straight down. So that's one thing is it's been a deliberate cut. Another thing is the type of tree. So poplar trees are very brittle, just in general, and they will break if i top cut a poplar tree it'll break about halfway through the cut if i top cut a white pine tree it might break a third of the way through the cut white pines are super crazy they jump like nothing else and they don't even peel they just break and just jump off the tree at wild angles an oak tree i might cut three quarters of the way through before it starts to even peel and then it won't break it just will peel six feet up the branch and then like an elm tree won't ever break it'll just bend forever and so it's a species thing they behave differently different species have different types of wood the wood behaves differently when you cut it and it is a choice of cut that top cut causes the branches to peel it causes the branches to bend and break Okay, so we met a networking group maybe a month and a half ago, yeah. and you acknowledged that I run a tree company, and you're like, hey, I have a tree, and I said, I bet you do. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And, and if you wouldn't mind talking about what it was that brought me to your property in the first place. Yeah, yeah, well, you originally you were talking about how you were really interested in preserving the tree, and that was super important to me because I didn't want to cut it down, but it was kind of making friends with our house and the house next door, so that was a little bit of a problem. So I, I really like that idea. So you came over and you 
got it to where it was no longer an issue with it touching the roof and that sort of thing. And it looks amazing. Awesome. I'm glad that that's the case. Thank you.